How's it going everybody? Uh, Tractor Head 04 here. I uh, want to welcome everybody back to the uh, Torino restoration project, uh, 1971 Ford Torino GT convertible. Um, for those of you who have been following it along since the beginning, as you can see, things look uh, quite significantly different now. Uh, got the car uh, rotisserie assembled, got the car mounted on it, so uh, I'll do a little bit of a rock around and uh, show you what we had to do there. Um, get over here. Uh, with the flex in the car, uh, of course, had to brace the center there. I welded that up. And uh, we wanted to add bracing behind the doors, but uh, had a little bit too much flex in the car yet. So uh, we ended up uh, pulling the doors off and having to weld the cross braces in the door frames themselves to give us the structural uh, integrity that we needed. So. Uh, I got those all welded in as well, and uh, let me walk around uh, the front side here. I'll show everybody why the car is up on the rotisserie. Um, of course, we got the uh, underneath of the car here. Um, and as we start panning through, you can start seeing some of the uh, rust and cancer that has occurred over the years on this poor old thing. And uh, some of the stuff that needs to be repaired. So, um, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, this is the rear torque box here. Uh, I will insert a picture now of what it looked like. But uh, anyway, like I was saying, this is the rear torque box. Um, started working on it before I had a chance to film. I apologize for that. Sometimes I have a bad habit of uh, just kind of getting going on stuff and not thinking to pick the camera up and document some of the progress. But uh, anyway, uh, as you can see, the top layer of it, the top box part of it was really bad. And uh, front one here as well. Uh, not too great uh inner rocker as i showed is uh completely gone so that's gonna have to be uh completely redone uh this is the driver's side of the car um that you're looking at right now uh passenger side isn't as bad uh definitely needs a little bit of work as well uh as you can see the floor pan's been patched there i uh, got some holes there uh, this torque box has been patched over, but I think we're going to pull it out and uh, redo it just to see what's underneath there for uh, rust. So, um, definitely uh, quite a bit of metal fab and uh, welding ahead of us. Um, <clears throat> this car also, I didn't realize, had some sort of a brace that ran across... Uh, here under the floor so uh, we're gonna have to make that um, we're also gonna be uh, running subframe connectors uh, uh, from the front uh, box here clear back to uh, back here in front of the uh, leaf spring mount somewhere just to give it more strength so uh, of course this being what it is and things not being available we are going to probably have to build from scratch but my cousin has a set that he bought for his 68 charger that won't fit so uh, we're gonna see if we can make them work for this one seeing as no matter what we do we're gonna have to uh, pretty much build custom for the uh, subframe connectors for this thing so um, anyway like I said that's kind of uh, what's uh, going to be the start of things here. Um, I believe Dad and I were talking, and I think we were talking, the best way to do this rail here is to cut it out and maybe put a piece of angle iron flush in to give us the strength we need right here, and then put a, put the box over, over the uh, torque box like it was. Um, 
so anyway but i just kind of wanted to get uh a few shots of the before here like i said we had already cut this out uh and you saw the picture of how bad the top of this torque box was uh rocker panel as i said gonna need completely remade uh the front of this torque box i think we're going to be able to save the main part here possibly and just add on to the bottom here i'm um, not sure yet um but anyway i'll walk around and show you some of the toys we have to play with uh now courtesy of my cousin uh genuinely uh generously lending it to us uh have a metal break here now so uh that'll make uh things a lot easier um this is what is going to be inner rockers and some of the structure. This is a uh, four by eight sheet of uh, 16 gauge steel. So um, that'll be getting uh, turned into our car panels here pretty soon. Um, also, he lent us his uh, bead roller. So uh, that'll make it nice to put a couple beads in if we have to replace floor panels and whatnot. So, um, and he also lent us this neat little uh, air-powered uh, spot uh, sandblast gun. So uh, that'll make it real nice for uh, getting into some of these hard-to-reach crevices and stuff and getting them cleaned up to uh, weld and put new steel in. But uh, anyway, um, like I said, that's kind of... Uh, where the project's at right now. Um, mainly gonna be underneath work for now. And uh, I will try and document that as I can. Um, not sure I'll show every little thing that happens, but uh, nothing else. I'll try and get pictures of the panels or something to add to the next video or something before they get walled in just so you kinda see how they were made and then uh, I can film how they fit afterwards. So, uh, anyway, um, a lot of work ahead for sure. And uh, I appreciate everybody taking a look. And I'll talk to you guys later.